Well, we start off with this. The South African jazz industry has lost one of its greatest talents. Renowned trombone player Jonas Gwangwa has died at the age of 83. The legendary musician is known for hit songs including Homu and Batsumi, among others. He was awarded the Order of Ikamanga for his contribution to music and the struggle for freedom. Gwangwa's death falls on the third anniversary of the death of fellow South African jazz legend Hugh Masigela and the second anniversary of the passing of Zimbabwean legend Oliver Ndugudzi. President Sir Ramaphosa says Gwangwa mobilized the international community against the apartheid system. He also says he was a giant of our revolutionary cultural movement and our democratic creative industries. President Sir Ramaphosa has expressed his deep sadness at the passing away today, Saturday the 23rd of January 2021, of the cultural icon Jonas Gwangwa, who passed away at the age of 83. The esteemed member of the Order of Ikamanga was a globally recognized and awarded composer, arranger, producer, and jazz trombonist. The President's thoughts and prayers are with Mr. Gwangwa's family, friends, colleagues, comrades, and followers around South Africa, the continent, and the world. He received the National Order in 2010 and the citation for the National Order recalls how this South African paragon enthralled audiences around the world with his artistry as a composer and all-around creative genius. For more than 30 years, he traveled the world as an exile, collecting accolades wherever he went. Well, tributes continue to stream in for legendary jazz musician, saxophonist Mokoy Mkobata joins us now via Skype. Tete Mkobata, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this evening. I remember that the fourth edition of the Mzansi Jazz Awards saw Ntate Kwangwa being honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award. And rightly so, isn't it? Because it would honestly take a lifetime to truly define the role that Jonas Kwangwa played in the music industry. Yeah, for sure. What a great loss. First of all, congratulations to the family, just fraternity, the fans, and the likes, you know. What a loss is one. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you, you know, I mean, we, we you know, we've, you know, lost a, a giant of South African jazz. One of the people who shaped our music, you know, along with uh, the late, great, great you, you know, Kipu Miketu, Prahu, when they had the, that band, the, the, the Jazz Apostles, you know. Mm. Who can forget also the other super band you with uh, Tantu Kaifas, you know, you know, in South Africa, wow. And the Grammy, the Grammy Award winner, you know. Yeah, it certainly is big loss, a major loss to the music fraternity. But, you know, as you're speaking about his work as well as uh, the jazz epistles, though shortly lived, one might say, this, uh, you know, group was considered as the jazz super group. I mean, you're speaking about the likes of one such a young, Dante Huma Sikela, but also there was the likes of Dollar Brand as well as Dante Jonas Kwanga. These are the people who elevated jazz music. The, but do you think enough is known about their contribution to the arts? I mean, are young people able to grasp just who these giants were, or some of them were, and also their contribution to music? Certainly, not is, enough is done so that the, the, the young ones, you know, are able to, to know about the work, you know, you know, these people have done, how they shape the jazz, you know, when, when they need to be known, it's certainly no, 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 the answer is no, no not at all, you know. Mm. We, we, we saw preoccupied with uh, the, the great American jazz, you know, rightfully so, but what about ours, you know, we know Charlie Parker better than we know of Kipunyekes, for instance, you know. So, yeah, it's a sad state of affairs, yeah. unfortunately. But then, Kobata, where does the fault lie? Does it lie with us who fail to archive um, the legends, the legacy, as well as the journeys of these greats? Or is it on government who have lack of political will in ensuring that indeed music lives on even beyond the ages and the time that the person spends on earth? I'll start with the government, you know. Um, if you compare us with the USA, the USA uses the arts to... Uh, uh, to, to, to to get, you know, the attention, you, you know, to grasp the people, you know. For instance, Hollywood, you know, all the artists, you know, the Lincoln Center is supported by, by the government, you know. And, you know, and, and, you know, we are also to blame, you know, sadly so, you know, because uh, we are so fragmented, you know. We have uh, this, uh, uh, you know, spaza shop mentality whereby we don't come, make consortiums and, and 
and, and, and gang and, and we're not united, you know. So uh, we have a long way to go, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, strides have been made, uh, you know. We're getting there slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. You know, my, my colleague Temegil and I were joking just before the show started about how no South African can hear the Generations theme song without feeling super nostalgic. And really, he was at the forefront of breathing life into such productions. And one wonders, are we aware that such productions had life and musical life inside of them simply because of the likes of Tate Jonas Gwangwa? You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's sad state of affairs, you know. I mean, if, if you can ask a 16-year-old, you know, if they, they know of King Kong, the mm. great musical, you know. Yeah, so, you know, I, I bet you, you know, out of one out of ten will, will know about it, you know. Yeah, okay. But so the musical Chicago and cats, they'll raise their hands. <laughs> As we, before we let you go there, Dr. McCoy, let's talk a little bit about the man. I think that we often talk about the person's career, we often talk about the accolades, but we don't zero in on the human being. Tell us about the human being, this boy from Soweto who grew up with big dreams and who managed to even achieve those dreams irrespective of an apartheid system who would work against him. What a warm uh, person, a father figure. I uh, had a privilege of, of uh, visiting him while he was ailing last year, you know. You know, I did a couple of visits, you know. We would talk, you know, so much wisdom, warmth, and uh, and history that we've lost, you know. And um, a certain journalist, which I, which I won't mention, you know, I hope they were busy uh, with his, uh, you know, bi autobiography, you know. This person was helping him. I hope, uh, you know, they managed to, to, to finish it up, to finish it, so we can even learn more about this great gent. What a loss. Yeah. But the McCoy, we'll leave it there for this evening, but thanks again for joining us and speaking to us on South Africa tonight. Our condolences to you all. South Africa does mourn with all of you.